Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to another week's edition of Heat Press Nation Live. This is Jared, I'm Estevan, and we're back again, guys. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining us for another action-packed week, another super awesome, super fun week of Heat Press Nation Live. It is our absolute pleasure to be here, to have you guys join us, um, and we like to have lots of fun here. So, one of the ways, as you guys know, uh, that we like to have fun is we like to give stuff away. Woo! Yeah, so if this is your first time watching us, uh, well, you're in luck because you have a chance to win something well, today. today. You have today a chance to enter today. And next, week and and next week. Yeah, the prizes don't stop, guys. we got two awesome ways to enter. Uh, the first one's super simple, and you can get involved right now. We're talking about like and share like this and share. post. <laughs> um, if you like and share, or Jared, actually show them how to share the post. All you got to do, guys, is hit that little post uh, share button on the bottom. I'm sorry. You're going to share post, and then one more time. Confirm that. Confirm that. Facebook wants to make sure that you're sure that you want to share the post. Um, you guys could do that right now. So every week we have a drawing uh, for the winners. That's right. Um, and yeah, we give stuff away every single week. And all you got to do is just like and share this post. So you guys can, let's give them some time. I'm going to put 10 seconds on the clock. Ready, starting now, go. There we go. Is it the iWatch 4? This is the i. This is the, this is the pre, I, this is the, what do you call it? The prequel to the iWatch. Okay. Right you guys on. got five seconds left. Go ahead. Like and share this post, three, two, time's up, guys. Just kidding, you still have a chance. Fantastic. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have basically until, I'd say, the day before next week's show to get those like and shares in. We'll compile all the names. We'll be drawing someone at random for all of those who were able to like and share last week's broadcast, which was a fun episode. Very fun. Very, yeah, if very you guys fun. are gearing up for football season, you may want to take a look at that past broadcast. Uh, we'll tell you how you can get on there in just a moment. But uh, we'll be drawing the names from all of the contestants who like and shared last week's football episode. We'll be drawing that in just a little bit. I believe we got an awesome vinyl sample pack. Yes. We're talking about some easy pattern, uh, easy weed. So it's going to be a super fun pack curated by the experts, Jared. And um, yeah, there's another way they can get entered also, right? Yeah, there's another way you can enter, guys. And that's by sharing your work with us. And how do you share that? You use this hashtag right there, hashtag HPN creators. Uh, this is the hashtag that we always check up on to see uh, what everybody's making. And then we also check our Facebook group. Now I'm gonna pause really quick to yes. talk about our Facebook group. Uh, this Facebook group right there, you see it, Esteban's pointing to it, it's Heat Press Nation Creators. Uh, it's on Facebook and it's really awesome because there's lots of great, cool, helpful, smart uh, people in there. So if you're a beginner, this is especially helpful. And even if you're not a beginner, you get to see people's work. Maybe you've been doing heat transfer vinyl and you want to see, you know, sublimation. Well, we got sublimators in there. We got heat transfer vinyl. That's right. Uh, we have some people even using screen print transfers, um, other stuff, and some sign makers. Like, I'm telling you, there's like everybody in everybody. there. Everybody. Uh, you have experts, you have intermediates, and you even have uh, beginners in there, in that group. So it's really cool. Of course, I like to monitor that group as well as Esteban here. Absolutely. So occasionally the pros will chime in, uh, but really we have a lot of help out out there, so it's pretty awesome. That's right. I mean, uh, Jared said it's such an awesome community to be a part of. Um, to also share your work as well. I mean, yeah. if you're out there producing something great, you know, let others see it. And um, by posting in the Facebook group, you will be considered for post of the week. So using either the hashtag or posting in the Facebook group below, we kind of compile a few of our favorite entries so to speak and then we're going to present them for you guys i think we have a few ready to show them that they can vote on right we do so awesome. we're going to show you guys the staff picks hp and creators post of the week and you guys you the viewers guys and girls get to vote on who wins so let's show them so this week our first nominee is this cheer coach t-shirt i i see a couple different layers there i see some glitter i see some regular gold some white and I don't know if that's a knockout or if that's some purple on there for Viking, but it's very, very clever use uh, of the design. I think it's super cool. No, this is awesome. I mean, I'm a sucker for that classic varsity textile font right there. So yeah. I love the design here. Nice layout, awesome layering job. This is going to be option A, guys. Yeah, if you guys like that, just comment A in the comments below. This one, this one is another layering effect, and I think it looks super cool because you see you got Notorious Biggie right there. On the left, and then I don't know if this is on the same garment, but they posted it together, so we, we share them together. Absolutely. Uh, on, I think I like the one on the right a little bit better, though. Like it has that really cool silhouette, but then you have that gold chain. No, that's super awesome. I mean, cool. the positioning uh, looks like everything on here was just super spot on. Uh, great cut job there, as Jared said, on that silhouette sort of uh, vector of Biggie's face. This came out super dope. This is number uh, number B. So if you like it, go ahead and comment B. And then lastly, we have. See, happy birthday, Wowzers. mom. This is cool, man. This is sublimation. 
So like you guys thing? are wondering, yes, the whole thing. Look at those colors. Um, it looks beautiful. Not only it did the transfer come out great, but I, I just, I like the design. It's a really fun, cool design. I'm a big fan. Uh, very cool. You see how they're able to incorporate a picture of the mom yeah. in there. So it's not just a happy birthday mom, but it also has a picture on there. So that when you're out partying, everybody knows <laughs> who the right. birthday girl is. No, this came out good. I mean, time and temperature looks was super dialed in. Great transfer. Awesome entry. This is going to be a number C, guys. If you like this one, you can go ahead and comment below option C. Let's take one more lap through them all. Yeah. You can just go Let's down the lineup up. one more time. There we go. A, comment A if this is your pick. There's number B with the notorious B-I-G. Comment B if that's your pick. And then lastly... We got the sublimation birthday celebration. That's going to be boom. option C, guys. No wrong thing. choice here. A bunch of great options there to choose from. Uh, and then um, we'll be announcing the winner from last week's post of the week. Uh, you guys were awesome. Voted on those. I think we got that tabulated already. Yeah. Fantastic. We'll get to that in just a bit. Uh, if you guys saw any of the heading or got our awesome newsletter, today is going to be a vinyl cutter yes. head to head. We got two contestants in here. We're going to be comparing and contrasting the silhouette cameo and then the GCC Expert. This one actually comes in two models, the Expert 2 and the Expert 2 LX. And we'll explain the differences between those in just a moment. Um, Jared, you've worked with these pretty closely, I'd say, especially with the broadcast and everything, right? Yeah, so I these are actually, like if you ask me what are uh, two of my favorite cutters, these are probably two in my top two favorite cutters. Um, they're really cool. Um, and just to give you guys a little bit of background, especially if this is your first time watching, uh, my name is Jared. I've been. I started out in customer service here, and uh, I worked in the technical support department. So I got to work. Start off with the Cameo. Worked with the GCC. I worked with a lot of cutters that we have here in Heat Press Nation. And of course, now I, I've kind of moved on. <clears throat> excuse me, out of the technical support department, but still having lots of fun here at HPN. And uh, Stevon here is actually in the technical support. Department technical support department right now. That's right. Uh, like Jared, started uh, downstairs, customer support, sales, uh, learned pretty much everything in that department. And uh, yeah, since then I've transitioned into tech support. What up, Marlon? What up, Travis? Thanks Travis. for holding it down while I'm up here having fun with Jared. Um, <laughs> if you guys have you know been a Heat Press Nation customer, you know we offer industry-leading lifetime technical support from unboxing to trying your new transfers down the road. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can reach out to us at the number below or you can go ahead and get a ticket filed at heatpressnation.com. Uh, we usually get back to, let's say, about 24 hours. So uh, yeah. yeah, if you need yeah. any assistance, you guys can always reach out to us. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, this one, I would definitely say, you know, from being on the sales side, definitely one of our top sellers and yeah. for good reason. And this one, I'd say pretty much neck and neck. These are two awesome machines. Um, they're kind of geared toward, I'd say, maybe different output or uh, budget. But right. like I said, we're going to go through all these right now. Um, I think looking at these firstly, the first thing I notice is going to be the size difference between these two cutters. Yes, and that's the first thing we're going to talk about today is the size. Now this is important because I think before you ask yourself anything like, uh, and by the way, this, this episode is geared to anybody you might be on the fence about a cutter, you might be new to this entire industry, you're wondering what equipment you should purchase, Yes. Um, or maybe you're, you're kind of adding some, maybe you've been doing screen printing but you want a vinyl cutter to be able to take on uh, those short runs or maybe the custom runs Absolutely. a little bit easier. So if you're in the market for a cutter, this is definitely uh, the episode for you. So really quick, the first thing that we ask ourselves when we're buying a new cutter is what size do I need? And that's because there's with different sizes, you're able to do different things. So right here we have our Silhouette Cameo. Um, this is, and just to kind of give you guys an idea of scale, we're gonna just hold it yeah. over the Expert 2 right here. Just so you guys can kind of see that this and the cut area is like in here. So you see this and then you see the big expert. So obviously there's a big difference. Uh, there's actually about 12 inches worth of difference. So the Silhouette Cameo, I'll go ahead and put this cute thing back here. It's there more adorable. <laughs> the Silhouette Cameo has a maximum cutting width of about 11.85 inches, right about 12. Now if you're using the cutting mat, you have, I would say you have to use the cutting mat to get that cutting width. The cutting mat allows you to put a 12 inch uh, screw on it. But just like it's barely a hair, just like, shy, yeah. literally like less than 0.1 of an inch on either side. You're just gonna be right of the. It's a safe space. Yeah, it's about two shakes of a lamb's tail, I'd say. Exactly. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be using the cutting mat. And then uh, what's our size we're looking at if we're just loading the sheet in there? Yeah. So if you're loading straight in here, you're cut. So if you're not using the cutting mat, uh, your cutting width goes down to about 11.6. Mm. So you want to use the cutting mat. Now this is perfect though if you have maybe a 10 inch roll, which we do carry here at Heat Press Nation. Got a bunch right there. 
So you could feed your 10 inch roll directly into the cutter uh, and you should be just fine. But uh, but again, you're gonna have about, about 12 inches uh, of cutting width here. Now, on the flip side of that, over here we have our Expert 224LX. It actually has a maximum cutting width of about 23.6 inches, which is pretty doggone big. Yeah, as Jared mentioned previously, it's about just about double. It's called the Expert 224 for a reason. Uh, today we have the LX model here. Um, yeah, so I mean, you're looking about twice the kind of cutting length, uh, excuse me, cutting width. Lengthwise, I believe this one goes up to about three meters, I want to say, just about uh, 10 yes, feet. Yes, which is how far back you can feed cut. yeah so yeah. if you're doing roll media on something like this you can definitely load in your standard 15 inch cutting widths you can do the uh, 20 inch you know the glitter rolls so this one is going to be a little more versatile wise as far as you know what it can accommodate but you know i think it all comes down to you know what your needs are going to be uh, what kind of production you're looking to get or you know maybe you have a cutter already you're looking to add that secondary machine these are both super strong yeah. choices here. And to give you guys an idea, it's not just t-shirts that you could be doing. In fact, if we look right behind us, you're going to see that we have our HPN logo here on the wall. If I, I, I want to say we took advantage of a full, almost 20 inch width uh, roll of adhesive vinyl. And of course, going back, this is about, I want to say this one comes out to about four to four and a half feet. Um, and it's about a little over 20 inches wide, left to right, or it's about 20 inches wide, top to bottom. Now this would be impossible to do with the cami because the cami, even though you could roll out 10 feet long, you can only go 12 inches wide. So we would have had to cut it in like half. And of course that doesn't look too great. Not the best. So again, depending on what you guys are intending to do, if you want to make signs, big indoor decals, um, the fact of the matter is you just, you're going to have to get that larger cutter. But if you're looking for something smaller, now we showed these last week, check out this cool jersey for those who missed it. This is a pretty big graphic. This, th these numbers are almost 12 inches tall, but they're only, um, I think left to right, they're only about eight or nine inches wide. So these definitely fit into our cameo. We'll show you guys the front here. Uh, all of this, we, we cut it in the graph tech, but this is extremely possible in your cameo. So, I mean, so size does matter, but it really does depend on what exactly you intend to make. That's right. Now there is one other thing we want to talk to when it comes to size. And that is going to be the ability to, to fit a roll. Um, so really quick, we're actually going to bring you a, a graphic on screen right now. Uh, there's a thing called ganging your designs. So really quick, we're going to look, uh, if you see there on the left, now this is, this is a cut file that we had from a couple of weeks ago. You might remember it if you've been watching. But let's say we wanted to put this on a shirt. Now on screen, I believe the cut file is about nine inches left to right, which is a standard size for a medium to a large t-shirt. Uh, anyways, we could only fit one of these. If you're loading in a sheet onto your Cameo, we could only fit one of these graphics onto our sheet. Uh, now, that's using 180 square inches. It's a 12 by 15 inch sheet, 180 square inches uh, used for one graphic. But now if we're able to load in a roll, a 15 inch wide roll into our Expert. We could fit two of those graphics with only 30% more Space. So now we, we used about 17 inches of our 15 inch roll. Yeah. It's only 30% more, more uh, vinyl, but we're able to get double the amount of graphic on there. And you might think, oh, well, who cares? It's just a little bit. If you're just doing a couple shirts, it's not a big deal. Yeah. But when you have 50 of these graphics to make, 100 of these to make, then saving, you know, saving 30% for every uh, two graphics, that's that's actually a pretty big deal. No, that's right. I mean, even before we went live today, you were just saying um, on the Cameo, if you load in that vinyl sheet, those are starting about three and a quarter. If you have the roll, you're saving a lot of money on your material as well. Right. So not only are you going to be able to maximize what you're cutting with, you're saving money because you're getting a larger quantity at once. So yeah. you know, 15 minutes could save you 15% on vinyl. <laughs> exactly. And you know, if you're purchasing by the sheet, yeah, like like Esteban said, you're paying 325 a sheet. By a roll, if you're purchasing by the roll, that cost goes way down uh, to about two bucks and change. And the profits so, go way up. And the profits go way up. So if you want to lower your material cost, you definitely want to buy it by the roll. Now, if you have a cameo, you could still purchase by the roll and just trim it down yourself, but that's a hassle. It really is. And that's time, because time yeah. is money, guys. You know, uh, Michael Garcia, you guys may remember him, a special guest from a few episodes well, back. Love that guy. Um, you know, he always impresses this upon the customers here and, you know, some of us who are starting to venture out a little bit into this field, but your time is valuable. Your time is worth something. Your time is money. And if you can, you know, cut that down as far as 
you know, into the process, that's just more money in your pocket. Yeah, exactly. So now we're not discouraging you from buying the Cameo. In fact, I personally own the Cameo too, which is the version right before this one. I've had it for like over two years now. Awesome. Still going strong, still working great. Uh, and I use it to make money on the side. Let's be honest. Uh, I, I do have a, a you know small business that I run on the side with my Cameo. I, I don't do tons of projects, uh, you know, but when I do have a project in, I am able to use my Cameo to make these. Do I wish I had an expert? Yeah, but at the level that my side business is at, it's just not, uh, I don't want to say it doesn't make financial sense because I, it, it is an investment, yes, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like, I can definitely get this my job done. It fits my needs. There we there go. We Couldn't go. have said it better. It fits my needs. Um, it's very affordable, which is good for me. Uh, and I already, I mean, I already have the equipment. Exactly, it you works, already man. own it. There we go. It yeah. Works. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's gonna probably be the main difference, you know, just right off the bat, taking a look at these guys here. But uh, while they do both have the stepper motor inside powering these machines, there's gonna be a bit of a difference speed-wise. Right. Yeah. The Cameo uh, comes in at about 3.9 inches uh, per second. Uh, that's going to be the separate motor, and the expert comes in at a whopping 27.8 inches per second. So that's another thing to where the in, it's worth the investment, depending on how much cutting you're doing, it's worth the investment to size up. No, absolutely. I mean, if it makes sense for your model, I mean, it's something that's definitely going to pay its way back, I would right. say, you know, as far as your production, if that's something that you need speed-wise. Like you said, time is up. money, man. Exactly. That's right. That's right. I mean, um, you guys may remember from season one, we actually had a pretty crazy vinyl cutter head-to-head yeah. -head where we went through so many of the different cutter options we have. At the end of that episode, I think we had a, like a race, Yeah. I want to say, between all six machines that we were showcasing. Uh, we'll probably get to that in just a moment, right? Yeah, we we're going to uh, go ahead and bring that up. Awesome. Um, and from that video, we want to show you guys how the expert and how the uh, cameo perform. But really quick, oh, you know, let's just go ahead and show that. What the heck? Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys. So these things are running head to head. They're both cutting the, the same, exact same graphic. graphic. That's right. Same size, same everything. The expert got it done in two minutes eleven seconds. The cameo took just a little bit over a minute more. But they both got the job done. They both got the job done. So. Three minutes thirty-five seconds. So really, a, what roughly a minute twenty seconds, you know, which is not the end of the world if you're just doing a handful. Which in my case, I never really do more than like two dozen shirts no, that's right. at a time. Uh, so you know, in the case of two dozen, you know, maybe I'm adding like an extra half hour to my cut time. It's not the end of the world because I'm usually weeding one when I cut yeah. the other. Now, do we have that final graphics? They can just see the image that we uh, were cutting with the two machines there, I want to say. We can get that brought up on here real there quick. There we go. So and there it is. That's a, it's pretty basic. Not a ton of weeding, not a ton of cutting, but it's a pretty good size. I believe this one, we sized it at about 10 inches left to right. right. So that's the that's actually a picture of the t-shirt that, that we cut out. Really quick, I do want to pause and say thank you to everybody who's joining us live on YouTube, live on Facebook. We just want to say hello to everybody. We got some shout outs. We got Libra Scales coming in from Cleveland Heights. Uh, we got, let's see, Adair Brown coming in from Kansas City, Kansas. What's up? Uh, Kadisha Anderson is saying that she's about to start her own business and loves the videos. Ah, oh, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Who do we got over on Facebook? Uh, I got my dude Leo Alves tuning in. Uh, thank you so Yo, much for watching, brother. Always thoughts you, with you. Uh, Gtiana, I think she was our winner from last oh, week yes. from our uh, you know, random do drawing. Oh yes, we have that picture? We had, it was super awesome. So our winner from last week, uh, and I don't know if we have the picture or not, but we'll you'll see it in a second if we do. Oh, there we go. So we had uh, Tiana from last hey, week and they her came family, down. her husband. Awesome, right on, right on. kids right there, super awesome to see everybody. They were down here, uh, they were at Disneyland. Awesome. So they made the trip. Just so you know, we're like, 10 minutes 15 north depending on traffic yeah. yeah right off the, right off the the 57 freeway so uh, that's right so for any of our out of town uh, friends and family from heat press nation coming into the orange county disneyland area stop by save on some shipping come pick up some stuff uh, you can select store pickup on the website when you're kids. checking out save on that shipping time um you know, um, you know, just want to pause really quick. For those of you who are interested in either of these cutters, we do have awesome bolt bundle Bundles. deals. Uh, we got the Cameo bundle, I want to say starting around 229 And then there's also going to be options where you can get some transfer material and get set up supply-wise if you want to go the Expert 224LX route from GCC. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to put them in the comments um, below. We'll get to as many as we can live on the air, and then whatever we don't, we'll be sure to address the comments directly. 
Um, really quick, oh, you got one? I do have one question okay. here. This is coming in from Shirley Turner. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, Shirley's asking, can you use other blades in the Cameo 3 other than the automatic blade? Yes, so you can still use the old blades, which is going to be the regular ratchet blade. In my Cameo so 2, it doesn't accept the auto blade, so I still use the ratchet blade. Uh, we still carry the ratchet blade, so it's not discontinued. And uh, I love it. It works great. Uh, you can also use the deep cut blade. There's stippling tools. There's actually a ton of stuff you can use. There's pens. I mean, there's a ton of accessories that fit in the blade holder for your Cameo. So you definitely want to check that out. Of course, we do carry a wide variety here at Heat Press Nation. Um, super awesome. There's pens. There's even a pen holder for the Silhouette Cameo. What? Which is really cool because you can stick Sharpies in there. If you have a really nice gel pen or a metallic pen that you like, you can actually use that pen in the Cameo and have it plot on your paper. That's awesome. Super cool. Super cool. I mean, we just carry, started carrying sublimation markers. That's right. Yes, uh, Jared is correct. He's been up here testing with the rest of business development these awesome new sublimation markers. Man, the artwork Ramona's, man, that Spider-Man mask. Yeah, that's or, cool. Or uh, just all kinds of little well, uh, you house. Could, you could put those sublimation markers in the Cameo and have it plot out graphics for you. And then transfer something. We're going to show you guys. Awesome. Honestly, these sublimation markers are so rad. We're going to show you guys in the weeks coming up. Very, very cool stuff. I just kind of wanted to tease that. Right on, right you've on. you've seen it. I mean, they're pretty cool. No, it's awesome, guys. You're in for a treat. This is going to take sublimation to a whole new level, especially with the function of the pen holder on there where you can really plot those out for you. So, yeah, yeah. coming soon, guys. Um, so, going back to between the two cutters here, kind of started off size-wise, yeah. saw the difference here. This is going to be just shy of 12 inches cutting width. This one's coming in at just under 24 inches wide. Uh, went over the speed. This one's going to be a little bit quicker you guys saw that head-to-head -head race little, there a um, uh, just a poquito a poquito um, let's go on to software do we need to pay for software with the purchase additionally of any of these cutters that's a great question so both of these cutters do come with their own free software now the silhouette I like free comes I love free <laughs> the silhouette comes with silhouette studio which is a really awesome software you're able to import images you could trace them so if you only have a JPEG uh, you're able to trace it and turn it into a vector which you can use to cut in your cameo. That's just a screenshot there of Silhouette Studio. Now, Graph Tech, I mean, Graph Tech, geez. GCC. GCC. <laughs> GCC does come with a Great Cut. It, I believe we're on Great Cut 3 four. or 4. 4. We're on four. Great Cut 4 right now. And so you're able to import vector graphics. So uh, you will need a separate software. So if you, let's say you only have JPEGs, you will need a separate software to do all your designing, all your vectorization. Um, so that uh, that software, Great Cut, is pretty much for people with, you, I would suggest getting a little bit of graphic design knowledge under your belt. Um, you can use free software like, uh, what's Inkscape. it called? Like we Inkscape. love the Inkscape yes. over here, Inkscape.org. Uh, it is compatible with SignMaster, which we do carry. Super awesome. That's right. Uh, yeah, so for this one, I would say maybe you don't really need any gra this is great for beginners. You yes, don't really need any graphic design experience. For something like this one, because Great Cut is going to be more of a cutting software, this would be recommended maybe for a little bit or maybe do some research ahead of time yeah. just so you can have your vectorized files, get that in here and start cutting right away. Yeah, now, with, with, now you, you don't have to be a graphic design pro, but a basic understanding of how to edit uh, and import vector and vectorize uh, graphics would be very helpful. You can use Absolutely. free software like Inkscape, or the good stuff like Illustrator, hey. SignMaster Pro. Now, Silhouette Studio, what's cool about Silhouette Studio is it is upgradable to import vector graphics Say directly. What? Yeah, you could upgrade to Designer Edition, but what you do have access to for free is you have access to the Silhouette Store. What? So the Silhouette Store, now the access to the store is free, but in the store, you can purchase <laughs> pre-designed cut files and have them ready to roll on your cutter. So you don't... So even if you're not, like you don't have a lot of great ideas or great skill in designing, you could purchase designs to cut, uh, things to sell. It's really cool. Um, so Silhouette Store is really awesome. You have that available within the, uh, within the program. And the program itself comes with 100 free graphics. Free cut files, free stuff for you to start messing around with, for you to add to your design. In the Silhouette Bundle, you get In 100. In the Silhouette Bundle, yes sir. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about these bundles, guys. They're brand new. It's a great value if you haven't checked them out yet. Starting at 229 there's so many different options, kind of geared Nine. towards different sorts of vinyl, all kinds of awesome accessories and supplies. These bundles will not last, guys. Uh, make sure you go ahead and take a look at that section there. Uh, comes with books and videos. Yeah. So you got visual, got e literature. Yeah, free ebook in there. Super yes. rad. 
definitely worth taking a look at if you yeah. are considering either of these fine machines. Uh, there's no wrong choice here, guys. I want to help you figure out what's going to be best for your unique individual situation. Um, one thing to note about the Silhouette Studio software, what's cool about this one is this is going to be compatible on both your PC and Mac platform, so Windows and iOS. If you are going to be going the GCC route with the Expert 2 LX24, this one's going to be PC platform only for the Great yes. Cut software. Yeah, and, and some of you guys, you know, if you're a Mac person like me, you're like, oh no, but nowadays you can buy a PC for super duper cheap. You only need a cheap laptop basically just to import the software. You can still create on your Mac using whatever vector graphics program you have, save it as a PDF, put it on a, put it on a thumb drive, and then on your, at your cutting station. Uh, that's, what you, that's what you guys got. So it's really cool, honestly, like it, the, the, when it comes to software, I think if you need this machine, if you're expanding your business, you kind of should be having uh, a small, at least a working knowledge of graphic design programs. Otherwise, you know, I, like there's no nice way to say this, but you probably shouldn't be, if you don't have a basic understanding uh, or if you're not willing to get a basic understanding of graphic design, yes, you probably you shouldn't be going into the, into the the t-shirt making business because people are going to send you their files. They're not always going to no, work. They're not. They're, they're going to be you, rough. They're going to need. A, they're going to need a little work. They're so. going to need a little work. Um, they're going to send you JPEGs and you, and you know you're going to tell them, oh, I need this in a vector format. What's a vector format? <laughs> you know. So honestly, like, I always recommend people if you can learn Illustrator. And if not, there's free programs like Inkscape. You can even buy uh, Sign Master Pro from us, which will help you uh, make things a lot easier. Um, to vectorize and to design, um, even if you're using Plastisol transfers, you're going to need to learn vector vector graphics. So there we go. Highly recommend that. There we go. That's the difference here between those two softwares, guys. Um, now there's another feature. You know, aside from cutting, as you can see, the variety of different vinyl designs here. You can pass me that jersey there on the oh, end. Yes. I'm talking about contour cutting, guys. Not yes. just etching your you know vector graphics into the transfer vinyl, but actually being able to recognize and detect printed imagery like uh, inkjet heat transfer paper, laser heat transfer paper, and cut those out uniformly. I mean, something like this, you can certainly trim out by hand before oh, applying, that's a, that's but I mean, that's gonna be your time. That's gonna be the you know consistency between the cuts. This is gonna be in there nice and tight. You can see even got the little notch there for the handle. Super clean, super crisp every time. Um, Jared, which contour cutting would you say uh, machine's got it better dialed in? You know what? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. They'll both contour cut pretty darn good. Awesome. And that actually speaks a lot to the uh, to the internals on the uh, on the cameo. Um, but I will say the expert. I mean, it's gonna cut faster. It's, you know, you do need a cutting mat for both. Please don't uh, cut your paper through there uh, without it. Um, but what's cool is now in in the in gray cut, you will be able to trace your image. That's one thing that you are able to do. So it's pretty cool. You'll be able to trace them. Um, you will be able to do odd size papers. Uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily just an eight and a half by 11 or 11 by 17. Basically, if you could print it and if it fits, then you'll be able to contour cut it, um, which is really cool. Now, contour cutting is essential to me if you're using heat transfer paper. Um, you just you just got to do it. Oh, well, this one I didn't contour cut. No, it's this just, one we will do the, the full sheet. sheet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so, if you wanted to maybe get you know around that or something that's kind of like we said here, like uh, this. specific so, printed graphic. Oh, that's so another printed, great one. So we printed this USA. I'm going to show this to the camera here. We printed this USA just like how you see how we have the heat press nation logo on that one. So both of these were printed on inkjet heat transfer paper. But what we did was we trimmed around the graphics with the, with the cutter itself. And the reason why we do this is because, ooh, that's ugly. Oh, not a nice fold. The reason why we do this is because your cutter, uh, which is computer controlled, will cut way more precise than you a thousand percent of the time. There's no way you're going to get cuts that precise and consistent no. by hand. It's, it's not possible. No, I mean, you can get close, especially if it's something a little bit circular. But uh, I mean, if you are looking production wise, if you are looking to maximize time and consistency, contour cutting is going to be the way to go. Yeah. Um, if we are looking at maybe going the GCC route, it's going to be the Expert 2 LX model. The LX, LX connotation is going to be what refers to having that contour cutting feature so that it can, like I said, recognize those digitally printed images and cut them out nice and professional quality. Yeah. Now, if you're saying, hey, I don't really need contour cutting, I just need something to cut my big rolls, well, that's cool. Just You can get the Expert 2 um, Standard Edition, not no the LX. LX. No LX. You'll Base save model. yourself a little money. Uh, and then you you know in the future and the truth be told not everybody needs the contour cutting feature 
but some people absolutely need contour coating. So if that's uh, on your list of must-haves, it's, if it's a deal breaker for you, then you definitely want to uh, know what you LX. need, what you need to get. There we go, guys. The LX Expert 2 model. This is also going to be available in a 52 inch. So if you do need something, yes, uh, you know, larger format, the same platform here with huge. all the features, same software is going to be available in that 52 inch uh, size. So super awesome options here if you yeah. do need something maybe different size than the Cameo. Yeah. Now the Cameo is only 229 uh, in the bundle and it does contour cut. So again, this is really sweet pro feature that is available on the Cameo. 12 inch if that's what you're into really quick gonna double check in on you guys thank you guys so much for commenting for joining us today um ron spinks is asking what's the lowest price print and cut machine it's actually going to be the silhouette cameo it print and cuts uh up to 11 well actually I, let me say this it, you can load in a 12 inch by 24 inch cutting mat so whatever paper you could fit on a 12 inch by 24 inch cutting mat that's the biggest it's gonna print and cut um yeah so the expert um sorry the expert the cameo has it. Of course, the Expert 2 24LX, if you're using something bigger, if you're printing big sheets and you're maybe you're, you're, um, you're using print and cut stickers, you're cutting decals, something like else, you can load the whole sheet in there and it'll print and cut your whole sheet. So it's really cool on that end. I got one question. This is coming in from our dude Steven Santa Claus Rathbone. He's asking, can the Silhouette software be used on the GCC cutter? Sorry, it cannot. That's going to be a no. Yeah, these are yeah. going to be proprietary softwares that are going to be kind of equipment specific. Um, I believe, I mean, if you go with a different GCC machine, you may be able to use a different right. you know, great cut. Now, but if, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, if you upgrade your Silhouette Studio all the way up to Business Edition, you should be able to. But please, I'll double, actually, I'll double check on this and comment below. But I'm pretty sure you can export PDFs once you upgrade all the way to Business Edition. I think it's like a $100 upgrade to the software. Uh, in which case, then yes, you would export to PDF and then import to your expert if you really. But at that point, I think what's better than spending hundred dollars to upgrade your equipment, your your software, is to just do it in uh, a vector design program. Uh, it's definitely worth the uh, the extra knowledge, uh, learning that, and that knowledge is an asset for maybe other business ventures you might have in the future. So at that point, I would probably just recommend downloading uh, Inkscape for free and then doing your your things in there. But we also have SignMaster. Now, what's cool about SignMaster, amazing vectorization feature on Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Super easy to do uh, text. And you know what's funny? This, this might sound dumb. You might not get what you this. Got? It's text on a circle, right? Ah, text I've on seen a circle. That tool. It's the easiest in SignMaster. It doesn't get easier than text on a circle in SignMaster. If you've tried to put text on a circle in other programs, you know what I'm talking about. You know, getting it in a perfect circle is a nightmare because you have to put it on path, blah, blah, blah. But in Yikes. Sign Master, text on circle. I just think, I always feel like that's worth noting. It's just so much easier. No, to absolutely. Do that. Definitely Anyways. a great feature. You can have a variety of applications there. Uh, yeah, GTM is even chiming in here. I've used Sign Master. It's a good starter program. Going to have to check those other ones out. Nice, so for nice. sure. Um, Mary Sue Wasaki is asking they use Corel Draw. How is that to use with the Great Cut software? It's great. Corel Draw is another great vector design program. Uh, you're just going to save them as a PDF or I think an SVG uh, will work as well. It actually, Great Cut also accepts Illustrator files directly. So if you're using Adobe Illustrator, you can just save, you can just do a save, import the Illustrator file, and you're ready to cut. Absolutely, guys. It's going to be, uh, like Jared said, plugins for the Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw. It's going to be here with the uh, gra uh, Great Cut using the GCC Expert 2 LX. Yeah, so real quick, Lat Scott is saying, can you put the same graphic on a roll with the Cameo? You are able to feed a roll directly. In fact, there's enough space here to just barely fit a 15 inch roll of vinyl. However, when, when you load the roll straight in with no cutting mat, your cutting width goes uh, down to 11.6 inches, which means that for every thing you get, you're, you're missing out on like three inches. There's just three inches of unused vinyl and that adds up. So it definitely adds up. Now this graphic back here, um, would not fit in the camera because it's like 20 inches um, and I mean I guess you could just cut it in half and lay it twice but I really don't think that's going to work. Now we do have 10 inch rolls here at Heat Press Nation which fit perfectly in the Cameo and you are able to take advantage of the full width of that. So definitely uh, if you're interested in feeding rolls into the Cameo you definitely want to check out the 10 inch 
Rolls of Vinyl, HeatPressNation.com. There we go, guys. Uh, keep the questions coming in. You guys make this yeah. you know, exciting for us up here. We got another one right now. Um, let's see here. Shirley Turner is asking, can you use the Sign Master for Cameo? Uh, you can. So Sign Master does allow you to export your images. You can do a save as PDF. Now, in, in, with your silhouette Cameo, if you upgrade to Designer Edition, which is, I believe, $50, if you upgrade to Designer Edition, you're able to import vectors like SVGs and PDFs. Uh, me personally, uh, at home on my MacBook Pro, I have Sign Ma I have a Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. So anything that I make, uh, whether I'm using Illustrator, Inkscape, or whatever, I just save it as a vector PDF, and then I can import it directly into Silhouette. Boom. Um, if you don't want to do that, you could just save it as a JPEG, and then you could trace it. Silhouette has an awesome trace feature which allows you to get images that are like JPEGs, PNGs, uh, what we call rasterized images or pixel-based images. Uh, you can trace those in Silhouette Studio. So you don't necessarily need it, but uh, it, the images will come out a little bit sharper if you just directly import the vector. There we go, guys. Um, awesome. For those of you just tuning in, uh, I'd like to remind you really quickly, we do have a contest running. You guys can get entered in right yes. now. Uh, we're right going to be announcing that prize in just a little bit. All you have to do is like and share this post. You can go ahead and do that right now. You'll be automatically put into consideration. Jared, show them how to share it. That's how you do it, guys. You hit share post in the bottom right there. Boom. And then the final confirmation, just post it. And then there we go. And that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, we also have a post of the week running. So we're going to bring up those images right Ooh, now, give you guys another chance show. to get those votes in. Uh, you can use the hashtag HPN Creators or share in the awesome Facebook group, Heat Press Nation Creators. Alex, let's see the lineup. So these are the staff picks of the week. These are some of our favorite things we've seen this past week. And number eight, Sheer Coats. Check it out. The I see white, I see glitter gold, and then I see regular gold for the pom poms there. So super awesome use of layering. Everything looks so just like neat and clean and lined up perfectly. I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. And the next here, option B, uh, we have this really cool hoodie. Uh, I love the use of layering. It just gives it a lot of dimension. Also really nice detail on the face there. Faces are not easy to do in vinyl. So when I see a face that I can actually recognize, uh, that's a good Immediately thing. recognizable. I'm yeah. Like, I kind of an iconic photo here for uh, B.I.G. Love the layering. Um, it's kind of not on top of each other, but definitely gave it that multi-dimensional look, especially with that gold chain there. Super nice. Yeah, super cool for B. And then, of course, C, we have this sublimation print onto a t-shirt. And I like it just because it's a cool, fresh design. I can't say I've seen anything uh, like this really. So it's really cool. And, of course, they were able to incorporate a picture of the birthday girl onto the birthday tee. So that's really awesome, guys. This is uh, option C. It, whatever one you like most, just comment the letter below. That's all you got to do, comment the letter below. Um, you have, you could do it now. Uh, you have until pretty much next Wednesday. So we Basically, give you guys about, give take. about a full six or seven days. Uh, yeah, whatever, not many days. We give you guys a good amount of days to, uh, to go ahead and comment uh, who you think should win. At the end of the week, we tally up the votes and then we'll announce the winner. Winner gets a really sweet prize, uh, which this week's winners are getting a vinyl sample pack. So last right. week uh, was our football episode. You see that we made you know, a football jersey. We have our football mom t-shirt over here. We got um, our easy pattern with the football leather print. Yeah, awesome. let's see that. Let's see that. That's really cool. So the easy pattern, football. So anyway, so these we this week's winners are going to receive our new colors. We've been announcing some new colors. Uh, these past couple weeks, Caesar's been launching a lot. September was a really busy month for new colors over at That's Caesar right. North America. So we got champagne glitter. We have orange soda. Wicked purple is around here somewhere. Um, and that's all in the sample pack? That's all, all the, the new pack. colors. So the winners awesome. are going to be receiving all the new colors. Heck yeah. Plus some Caesar uh, football easy patterns. So you can make your cool football season products. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and vote. Actually, the winner today has already been uh, has already been voted. We tallied up the votes. We'll announce that in a little bit. But if you want to win next week's prize, next week's prize, go ahead and start sharing your work. Use the hashtag HPN Creators. Share it to our Facebook group, uh, which is right down there below, Heat Press Nation Creators. Uh, and you could be entered to win some cool prizes. There we go, guys. All right, let's get back to these cutters, shall we? Back to the head-to-head. -head. Okay. We're ready to uh, fight, fight, Arr, fight, fight. I'm bigger was, than you. I was going to smash them together, but then I realized I could, like, <laughs> then I'd have to pay for them. So All nervous. right. So we've gone over some of the differences as far as you know size and uh, you know what they're capable of, software, what have Speed, you. Speed, contra yes. cutting. There we go. What would you say it would be difference-wise here as far as ease of use? So ease of use, I would say the Cameo for beginners 
Um, but let's just say you've never done this. You've never even touched a heat press. You've never even smelled a, a vinyl cutter before in your entire life. If you're just getting started like totally uh, brand new, I would say that the, the Silhouette camera is probably gonna be a little bit easier to get started with just because of the software. Everything's in one place. You don't have to design, then import, then blah, 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 blah. You can make your designs right there in Silhouette Studio. You can import them from the Silhouette Store and then have them ready to cut. There's a lot of preset settings. That's another thing is like when you're cutting stuff, depending on what material, your blade's gonna be exposed a little bit differently, yeah. uh, different speed on um, setting, different pressure. You know, there's lots of different factors to getting the perfect cut. So there's a lot of presets in Silhouette Studio that make it super easy. Uh, tons of YouTube videos, of course. Tons of YouTube videos. No, absolutely, no uh, shortage of that. Yeah, and so I think for ease of use, if you're if you're just getting started, yes, the Cameo. Now that's not saying that this is going to be super difficult to no, use. No, no, no. Really. I think if you have even an ounce of graphic design experience, particularly in Corel Draw or Photoshop or Illustrator, um, if you have even just a basic working knowledge then you are already like leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else who hasn't used it. In that case, not this kidding. will not really be a problem at all. There we go. Um, Everything is achievable. Yeah, so, so, but for the person who's never even touched something, I would say go for the Cameo. But if you already have even just a little baby knowledge of how to import, export images, convert files, and blah, 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 uh, you could totally go for the uh, GCC Expert to uh, I, I don't think that'll be a problem at all. Super cool. Oh, there we go. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, there's been a lot of questions popping up that uh, we're kind of waiting until we got to this section here. I'm talking about money, guys. Um, as we've mentioned, we got some awesome bundles going for both these awesome cutters. Um, the standalone Cameo 3, I believe, right now is at an all time low, about a buck 99. Yeah. With free shipping. What? On this one? Yeah. It's awesome. crazy. Now, now don't get me wrong, like 199 is great, but you really want to go for the bundles. We pack so much awesome stuff into the bundles for an extra uh, for an extra what is it? $29 or it's it's 229 for an extra $29. Um, you get so much more. You get way more than $29. No, it's totally um, worth it, guys. Uh, vinyl uh, worth of accessories. Uh, worth of video help. Worth of the ebooks. Oh my gosh, the ebooks are an awesome education for how to use this uh, properly, how to get the most out of your cutter. Um, you have like markers. Anyways, there's so much rad stuff. you even get a shirt stuff. in there too, right? Yeah, you get a t-shirt. In, like there's hey. so much rad stuff that comes in the bundle. Uh, so we highly recommend like, yes, it's tempting to just get the 199, but you're gonna have to buy all this other stuff anyways to get started. I mean, you gotta buy vinyl to practice with, right? Right. So you may as well just get the bundle, spring for the 229 bundle, guys. Trust me, it's worth it. Right. And then, have yeah, this bad boy. This one here, guys, as you said, we're working with the GCC Expert 2. This is, again, the LX model. So this one, as advertised here, is currently listed at 645. As we mentioned, you may not have the need for contour cutting. If you're looking to get into just the Expert 224 without the LX, no contour cutting, that one's going to be starting at, I believe, 495. Yes. yes. So uh, they do come in additional sizes. Those are going to be at a you know, different pricing point. Uh, for more information, you can visit the website below, heatpressnation.com. Check out the vinyl cutter section. Or you can get on the line with one of our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff. Yes, the number's right there, 800-215-0894. And yeah. uh, we'll probably get the link in the comments after we go finish yes, live with the bundles for this one here. Yeah. This no. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, no. What's cool about the Expert 2 is that we have bundles for this one as well. So again, if you're just getting started, you're gonna need to buy vinyl, you're gonna need to buy uh, weeding hook tools, you're gonna need to buy lots of, not lots of stuff, but you're gonna need to buy things to get things started. You're gonna wanna practice, right? To, you know, make sure that you're doing everything right before you offer something to your customers and make a couple t-shirts for yourself or for your kids or something just to get the feel of it. You're gonna need all that stuff. So you may as well uh, get it, Get when you buy the cutter, you may as well buy the bundle. Trust me, there's so much information on there. And when you um, and when you buy the bundle, you also have the option to add a heat press at a discount. Awesome. So when you buy the, the bundle for the Expert 2, um, you're able to add a heat press. You're going to have some supplies you can get on here. Uh, all kinds of awesome stuff getting set up, starting to use this cutter. Uh, the Cameo is going to be the one where you can yes. add the heat oh, press machines to. Yeah. Well, but we do have other bundles with the, gra with the uh, GCC in it. Sorry, my bad. That's right. I misspoke. No worries, no worries. Um, I had a question come in I wanted to get to here from Amanda Whitlock. Uh, oh, she's cool. asking, print on vinyl, then cut. What kind of machine? 
Uh, you could use either. So if you're using printable vinyl, uh, which is going to be like, uh, I believe it's Caesar Color Print, Color Print PU. Color Print Easy, Color Print Extra. Yeah, if you're, if you're using that sort of vinyl, of course, you're going to want to have an eco solvent or a solvent printer. Uh, it's not going to work with the regular inkjet uh, printer. Yeah. So that's going to be a printable vinyl. Um, I mean, if you're, if you're only printing like a small sheet, I imagine you could just trim it down and make it fit on your Cameo. You can still use a print cut feature, but if you're doing like large sections um, of vinyl, you're printing on a roll, because I know a lot of the solvent printers are pretty big. If you're using a, a large printer, you're probably going to want a cutter of equal size just to make sure every, you can just go feed it through your printer and then feed it through your cutter. I would recommend if that's what you're doing, go for the expert. Now, I know some people, um, and I'm not sure if this is what you're asking about, but just for the sake of saying it, some people are, are, have commonly referred to heat transfer paper, which is something that you print in your inkjet printer as printable vinyl. This is actually not a vinyl. It's uh, it a is paper. A, it is a paper. I mean, there's a polymer film that you're printing onto, uh, heat transfer paper. But yeah, for this, all day long, I would put it in my Cameo. In fact, I have done it a lot <laughs> on my Cameo. Yeah, yeah. So for printable heat transfer paper, stuff that you're putting through your regular home office inkjet printer, either one's going to work, but you can totally do it in the Cameo. That's right, guys. If you're looking for that principal vinyl, you are going to be looking at something like Jared said, your eco solvent, your latex printers, uh, something that would print and cut. I, I know Roland has some I devices so. like that yeah. with the print and cut. Definitely going to be in the you know new car category, I'd say, price-wise. <laughs> um, but it's out there. We do have the materials if that's something that you're looking for. Again, it's going to be kind of in the Caesar color print family. Caesar color print. print and cut section of the website there. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it's going to be a little bit different price-wise, I would say, you know, given the options between the two, but I feel they're going to serve different purposes and you're going to have different speeds, different output, different software. Uh, a lot of the key features will be available on either option, depending if you go with the LX model or the base. Um, but let's, let's talk about support here. What kind of yes. uh, support can I expect? Let's say I, I get one of each. Get back to that later. Um, so check it out. One of the best things about buying from Heat Press Nation, um, because we're not the only people who sell these items. We're not? But we should be. We should. I, I feel like we are. We're the only place you should be. We're the be. best place at ah. selling them. But check it out. Here's what you get when you buy from Heat Press Nation is you get our one year, first of all, you get a one year warranty. That's backed by us. So it's not only the manufacturer, not only you have to, the manufacturer's warranty, but we will help you if you want. You can make your claim with us and then we'll file that on your behalf with the manufacturer. If you have any issues, we'll take care of that for you, right. uh, which sometimes gets things done a little bit easier and faster than, than you know, emailing or sending a letter to the manufacturer. So it's not, not throwing any shade or anything like that, but sometimes it's easier to have somebody in your corner uh, when you're trying to make a warranty claim. Absolutely. We have great relationships with both of these companies. Work closely. Shout out to all the techs over at GCC, Elio, Ricardo, Zach. Love you guys. GCC yeah. family. So check it out. Not only do you get the one-year warranty, but you get free lifetime industry-leading technical support. We support the Cameo, we support the Expert, we support all the cutters that we sell. Uh, honestly, the other guys wish they were us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, uh, you, know, you know, all joking aside, this lifetime tech support is essential because when you purchase, let's just say hypothetically speaking, you were to purchase your Cameo from some online retailer who has it at a discount, right? You save maybe, realistically, you're saving maybe like 20 bucks, okay, maybe, 30 bucks. Maybe. What happens when you need help with your Cameo, uh, you need help installing a, a firmware update, you need help updating your studio software, you know, you can contact, uh, you can contact maybe this seller, maybe. I really doubt it. And the reason why I say that is because we get so many calls uh, from people who ask us for help and like, yeah, I bought it from here and they don't have any help. Can you help me? Sorry, we reserve our awesome, amazing technical support for our customers. So when you purchase from us, you get that free lifetime technical support from my buddy Esteban here, from our other tech technicians, uh, and really that can prove to be priceless, especially if you're stuck, you have a job, uh, just give us a call, we'll be happy to help you out. There we go, option three at the number below, guys. Uh, lifetime tech support is just what it sounds like. Uh, we're talking about unboxing, maybe down the road you wanna expand, add different sort of transfer to your arsenal, your rep repertoire, if you will. Um, give us a ring, we're always here, just uh, make sure you have your email or order information handy, and we can pull up everything else, not just on the cutters, guys, it's gonna be across the board. If you ever need down the line parts or accessories, maybe you gotta replace that cutting strip, maybe it's time to try out a new angled blade, Blade, you can reach out to us. Uh, website's down there below. Phone number's right there next to it. We have those you can get set up if you need your cutting mat. I mean, really anything for both these machines, right? Yeah. For both these machines, guys, whatever you guys need, we'll get you taken care of. 
Uh, and I guarantee you, making the phone call or shooting us an email is a lot easier than skewering the internet, going through all the forums, all the, uh, you know, because then in the forums you get all this different information. Of course, we, uh, we get our information directly from the manufacturer. So just as good, if not, I don't want to say better, because I love our pals over at GCC. No, and absolutely. Also, so, uh, but uh, the support you get here is going to be equal to what you'll be able to get directly from the manufacturer. Um, and we offer phone support, which uh, in some cases is not going to be available. No, it's like a, it's like going extinct. I think I've seen yeah. companies that are kind of halting with the inbound calls, but uh, we're definitely here. It's going to be Monday through Friday, 8:30 a.m., 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we have uh, options where we can actually remotely connect to your workstation and you know share screen, get everything situated together. Yes. Uh, that's going to be you know the technical support that Heat Press Nation provides. Yeah. So super awesome. Um, if especially if you're new, the the twenty bucks you're gonna save some like maybe buying from an unauthorized, unlicensed reseller. Yes. It's risky. And then also if you purchase from an un unlicensed reseller, any warranty claim might be kind of it's just that much harder. Yeah. To get taken care of, guys. It's not worth it. it the, our technical support is worth it's worth its weight in gold. And there's the group, guys, don't forget, I mean, for maybe yes. after hours or on the weekend support, can't say enough good things about our awesome family. It's going to be Heat Press Nation creators in your Facebook groups. Highly recommend you guys join in there, moderated by the experts. And then also consideration for post of the week. You know, you could not only be entering yourself in a chance to win one of our awesome weekly giveaways, but you could be possibly inspiring, maybe showing someone else something they hadn't thought of. So uh, again, you want to share your work for consideration in the group or use the hashtag on any of your social media platforms and that'll right that easy guys right there super awesome so yeah so today it's a head-to-head -head. we put the cameo versus the expert uh we had a nice battle we went through a couple rounds of speed software uh what is it contour cutting ease of use price support um so but really uh you know we and we analyzed both these machines like we went over it with a fine tooth comb uh, and we determined that the winner is you guys because it's a tie there's yeah. you know really not a wrong answer i there's mean not. given these two quality pieces of equipment it's really going to come down to your individual needs um these are going to say geared towards different production different speed whatever's going to fit your best individual needs the winner is you guys because this is a straight yeah. up tie yeah so now there's not one cutter for everybody but there's definitely a cutter for you so if you are, I, like that. I came up with that just right now. That feels so good. cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so if you are, and I'm going to have this noted here. So anyways, um, if you are, you know, beginner, um, if your budget, now remember budgets also, we, we got to be honest, take that into consideration. If you're a beginner, you're just getting started uh, and you have a smaller budget, maybe you don't have any graphic design experience at all. I would highly recommend the Silhouette Cameo. It's a great way to get started. Uh, smaller investment required, meaning that if this whole t-shirt thing doesn't work out for you, at least you're not too deep into it. You know, you're just getting your feet wet. The Silhouette Cameo is for you. Now, if you have a little bit more budget available for an investment uh, and you plan on doing more quantity, maybe you already have, maybe you're, we get this all the time. I, I already have a job for 50 orders. I need to buy a vinyl cutter. And it's like, wait, you, you took a Eek. job before you were, <laughs> it like, happens more often than you yeah, think. Yeah, <laughs> there's some awesome salespeople out there. Jeez. No, absolutely. You know, if you plan on doing larger quantity, you know time is money, and you're going to need to get your designs cut as fast as possible. Uh, maybe you have, even if you don't, but maybe you have a little bit of graphic design experience. Uh, in that case, yes, the Expert 2 24 Alex or standard Expert 2 model uh, is going to be the cutter for you. So if you now if you have other factors. Uh, weighing in here, maybe you have a couple more questions, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, our heat press pros uh, in our customer service and sales department, are, we're here to help. You can shoot us an email, heat uh, uh, sale support, support at thank you. heatpressnation.com. I give that email out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, you can, or you can just give us a call, 800-215-0894. The number's down there. We're here Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're on the East Coast, that's 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we open a little late for you, but we also stay open a little late for you. We'll so leave the light off. It works out. <laughs> that's right. Guys. It works out, yeah. So if you have any questions, maybe you, maybe you watched all this, you still don't know what you're doing uh, or what you want to get, just give us a call. We'll tell us what you want to make. Hey, I'm making uh, you know, bridal sashes. I'm making baby onesies. I'm making uh, huge football dog shirts, jerseys. football jerseys. I'm making big wall graphics. You know, whatever it is, give us a call. Uh, we'll help. 
<laughs> will get you into the right vinyl cutter. If necessary, we'll get you into the right heat press and make sure you have everything. By the way, everything that you see today was made with either one of these cutters, um, but everything that you see today will fit in the Cameo or will fit on the Expert. So if you're taking a look at this, you could do this with either cutter. Um, you, you see this really cool layered shirt, either cutter. Um, it's really the only, I think the only thing we did that wouldn't fit on the camera is just this gigantic wall graphic uh, behind us. But everything you see on here is available. We customize shoes. Um, we have this really cool wood board with uh, adhesive on it. We cut this graphic from PSV. Uh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think I designed this in Silhouette Studio. Um, and here's the graphic from earlier, guys, if you saw our oh, PSV yeah. episode. Uh, this is a layered adhesive vinyl transfer we did that was cut with... Show it to the, the camera. That one's cool. I, I did that. Yay. Yay me. But anyways, <laughs> all this rad stuff, you can do it with either cutter. So if you kind of want to get an idea, well, will that fit in my cameo? Everything here, everything you see on this table, even this really cool jersey, everything fits on the cameo. Um, so, but really, it depends. Now, if I had to make, now, if I had to make like 100 of these, I would probably go for the expert. We're just keeping things real here. So, uh, anyway. Travis tuning in there. Oh, very cool, very cool. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, um, just going to go through the comments really quick. We thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Uh, we appreciate all the comments. Uh, Nigel Naren is saying, do you sell a Caesar Easy Weed bundles? Yes, we do. Um, both of these are available in bundles with Caesar Easy Weed. Um, now, as far as Caesar bundles of just vinyl, different code, we don't have those. You, we allow you guys to pick and select as you need it. Um, Tommy Keen is saying, hi guys, do you have suppliers in the UK? You know, unfortunately, we don't have suppliers in the UK. I believe, uh, and I'll have to double check, GCC might have a supplier in the UK. I know Caesar uh, HTV, the heat transfer model they do, and Silhouette for sure is available in the UK, but unfortunately not through us. Um, but I'm sure a nice uh, Google search, or you can contact the manufacturers directly, Caesar, uh, um, Caesar Silhouette, GCC, you can go to their websites and you can uh, check, so I'll be sure to comment those there uh lance scott is saying any sales coming up in the future guys stay tuned we have an epic black friday coming up it sounds far away but really it's just next month so be sure you stay tuned and who knows there might be a spooky sale well, i don't know maybe there we go we got another viewer tuning in here uh, saying they're not going to mention tommy's oh i don't gosh, know if that's a me, inside bro. joke there but i'm uh, trying to be on a diet now for those of you guys who are not in southern california you don't know how beautiful tommy burger is uh, for those of you in southern california you know exactly how beautiful it is and uh more of an in and don, out guy myself don keeps he keeps teasing me because i haven't gone in a while there we go i was supposed to go last week but i couldn't all right, guys. <laughs> uh, I want to mention to you as we get close to the wrapping up the end of our segment here, uh, our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe yes, button. Uh, you want to head over to youtube.com slash heatpressnation. Address is down there below. You can take a look at all of our past adventures uh, and see all of our awesome tutorials, product spotlights. Highly recommend you get the subscribe button. Give us some thumbs up. We like thumbs up. We do, we do. So we're wrapping up the end of our broadcast, but we didn't forget, we still have stuff to give away. Now for our weekly uh, random drawing, we're gonna be going on Instagram Live a little bit later to announce. Of course, we'll be commenting, we'll be sharing uh, on Facebook uh, who the winner was, but if you wanna see it drawn live, be sure live. to hop over uh, to, to Instagram Live in just a little bit. We're gonna be heading over there uh, for our live drawing and we're gonna announce some other fun stuff on there as well. So if you're looking for us on Instagram, just look up Heat Press Nation. Uh, at sign heat press nation um yeah and there you go but we have our winner from post of the week let's go ahead and that's bring right up let's bring out our winner our guys winner. and this one was a landslide i was actually tripping out at how many votes this one got not uh so let's go ahead and bring it up here we have our winner option c yes Woo! fantastic right on right we on have there the we go rated t-shirt really cool because you got that pocket logo up front and then you have the full logo on back Really, really rad stuff. I love this. Uh, and you know what's funny? I didn't even notice. I think they might be uh, one of the options for this week as well. Oh, right hey, on. What's happens when you make awesome stuff? Honestly, the staff Now, picks, this could be any of you guys. Yeah, you know, this could um, be anyone. We encourage you to share the hashtags up there in the upper left. Facebook group, you already told you. Heat Press Nation creators, yes. great place to share your work and also consideration for some awesome prizes. Make yeah. sure you enter, guys. All you do Woo! is just share your coolest stuff. Make sure you share a picture. Unfortunately, we don't have the capability to share videos to uh, to Facebook Live, so make sure you post a picture of it. Uh, we've seen some cool videos. Don't stop with the videos, but uh, if you want to be entered, uh, share a photo 
of your work uh, to the uh, our Heat Press Nation creators group or using the HPN creators hashtag, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Blah, 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 blah. You guys know what it is. Thank you for telling me, Joe. Appreciate <laughs> you. Um, yeah, man, no, this was awesome. I really hope you know we kind of shed some light on the differences between these two machines. Uh, like you said, if you guys are on the fence, you really can't go wrong here. It's just going to come down to your personal needs. Uh, your budget definitely is going to be a huge yeah. factor. Um, if you'd like more information on either of these machines or any of the other awesome cutters that we carry, feel free to give us a call. The number's down there below, or you can visit us at heatpressnation.com. This was fun, man. I uh, love you know the head-to-heads. Yeah. Spirit of competition. Always super fun, and I'm glad that we didn't have to pick a winner today because the winner. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. That's going to do it for us. Uh, we'll see you back here next week, same time, same place, Thursday mornings, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And if you're in between, you guys can do the math. There we go. See ya.